Good morning, Rob Kirkpatrick from the KPL News Center here with a 10 o'clock update for you on the Steve Scalise shooting that happened just outside of Washington, D.C. this morning. Now, the majority whip and Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise was at a charity baseball tournament practice that was going on. Uh, the congressman, the GOP congressman here where he was, has been practicing every morning, uh, starting before the sun even came up. That just after 6 o'clock each morning, they've been practicing for the game that was supposed to happen tomorrow. No word on if that game is still going to happen. I would imagine at this point it's not. An update on the condition of Steve Scalise, though, at this point, he is at Georgetown Hospital in surgery. Um, folks have told us, and sources we've talked to said he was joking, um, alert before he went into surgery. There are some pictures out there on the internet we have chosen not to publish at kpal965.com that show him on a stretcher going to first responders. Uh, we do know that two of those wounded were Capitol Police officers. Now, Steve Scalise, because he is a leading Republican in the House, he is he's given these Capitol Police officers a 24-7 detail that he has there. Two of them were there, and folks who were there said if they wouldn't have been there, this could have been a massacre. Witnesses say 50 to 100 shots were fired. Only five people, as we said, injuries, no deaths at this time. Again, it happened in Alexandria, Virginia. We're continuing to update the story kpal965.com and on our various news channels, Facebook and Twitter. Just search KPAL News. I'm Rob Kirkpatrick and I'll have updates throughout the day. Of course, as we hear how the surgery went, what the plans are for the game, other congressmen who were there, and of course, all those who were injured. At this point, no one has died in this attack. Rob Kirkpatrick, KPAL News.